Hey y'all, welcome back. So number 17 says, in the xy plane, what is the y-intercept of the graph of the equation y equals 6 times x minus 1 half times x plus 3? Well, this equation looks a little tricky, and you might be thinking, gosh, I'm not even really sure how to graph this or anything. How am I going to find this y-intercept? Well, luckily, finding the y-intercept is easy no matter how complicated this equation is. The y-intercept, just to kind of go over the vocabulary for a moment here, is the place, is the point on the graph where your graph crosses the y-axis. So that's that vertical axis here. So no matter how crazy your graph is, if it does something like this, and this, this particular graph doesn't do anything nearly this complex, but let's just say it did, um, the point that we're looking for is right here. Right? It's where it's crossing the y-axis. That's what it means by y-intercept. And the key thing to understand about a y-intercept is that no matter where the function crosses that y-axis, every single point along this line is going to have something in common, and that is that its x-coordinate is 0. So if you imagine like the point at the origin 0, 0, you have 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. So wherever the y-intercept is, the x value or the x-coordinate of that point is go always going to be 0. So the uh, the x uh, coordinate of the y intercept is always zero. I uh, can't spell today. There we go. So, um, how can we use this to actually solve this question? Well, if it's saying, what is the y intercept of the graph of this function? This, again, this particular function, you know, you might not know exactly what it looks like. That's okay. You don't get a graphing calculator, you don't need it. Okay, all you have to do is recognize that the x-coordinate has to be zero. So the strategy for finding the y-intercept is going to be to substitute zero in for x and then evaluate, or I'll just say solve for y, even though there's not really too much solving going on here. You're just going to evaluate. Um, but yeah, this is going to work no matter how complicated your equation is. So whatever the equation is, it could be 10 times as complicated as this. All you have to do to find the y-intercept is just plug in 0 for x, and then figure out what y is. So here we've got y equals 6 times 0 minus 1 half times 0 plus 3. And this says you get the square root calculator, so you get, I, I believe this means you get a scientific calculator. You don't even need anything that complicated, because all we're doing is just evaluating. So we could plug in this whole thing in your calculator. Um, honestly, you probably don't even need a calculator, although I would suggest you use it anyway just to make sure you don't make an arithmetic error. But 0 minus 1 half is just going to be negative 1 half. 0 plus 3 is going to be 3. Now we just multiply these together. So 6 times negative 1 half. Well, half of 6 is 3. It's negative, that would be negative 3. Times 3 will be 9. And there we go. There is our y-intercept. It's going to be at 0, comma 9. So we see our answer choice. The correct one is D here. And that about, that, that's about it for number 17. And actually, you can use this strategy for any question where it's asking for the y-intercept. Uh, so thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.